There are a lot of people who practice guitar all the time, 20 years, 40 years, and really stop getting better. And I suspect that this has to do with not being able to detect the resolution of the word. Now, I know that sounds like some philosophical mumbo jumbo, but it really isn't. What I mean by that is pretty simple. If you think about what makes up music and lines, you can think about each note and each rhythm as a letter. And when you're taking a whole lick, that might be like a paragraph or a sentence. But the truth is, when you're playing some stuff and it has some element of technicality to it, right? You're playing lines. You don't know where the seams in my playing are. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm playing a lot of these little motions and they're not really long enough to be coherent musical ideas. They're more like little words, right? Words are made up by a few letters, a few notes, a few rhythms, but I can use them to take sharp turns in music. What I really encourage you to do is work not against the grain, but with the grain of your technique to create words that are easy for you to say. So if you take, let's say, a scale structure, I'm just gonna take a C major scale, maybe a D Dorian sound. And I'm just going to take a look at some of the things that I do. My ability to play technical things that flow together have to do with being able to take sharp turns with lines. If I think about what a word is, this might be a word. That's not a lick. It doesn't stand alone, right? But it's not also just those notes. It's those notes placed on the specific strings I'm placing them on, played with the technique I'm playing them with. And I can use it in a variety of ways, right? Here's one. Here's another one. Here's another one. So even when I play that line twice, it didn't sit in the same place in time. What I really think is a super helpful tool to get better at that is displacement. If I just take a simple line like this, and I call that 16th notes, right? Pa -ba 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 what I really wanna be able to do is get to the beginning of that line in every displacement of that 16th note rhythm, meaning ta 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 Da, 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 da. What did I do? I have four events. I went pa 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 pa, pa 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 pa, pa 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 pa, and pa 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 pa. Now, a really great way to practice that is just visually lock it in with your fingers. Say these are four notes. I'm still in that D Dorian idea, and now I'm playing in time. And I'm just gonna make a real rule for myself. I'm gonna only play 16th notes, but every time I touch that G note with my pinky, I'm going to just play that line. Doesn't matter where it falls in time. So it's gonna look something like this. Now it didn't sound so musical, it's just a bunch of ramblings, but I'm getting used to that little word falling in all sorts of places. I can do it with different subdivisions, maybe a triplet, ta da da dum Now I've developed this little word inside my playing that can take sharp turns, meaning it could just flow into other ideas. Ideally, you want to segment many areas of your playing to do approximately that, right? You want to be able to just have this kind of freedom when you're playing to where when you hear something flipped around, it doesn't freak you out and causes you to seize up and be like, I no longer know where I am. So my playing is going to have a lot of these twists and turns in it, right? You're not going to be able to see the seams, but it's like every one of my lines has 10 of these ideas in it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
So the improvisation is just going word, 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 word. If you locate the resolution of the word and work on executing these words cleanly and on a variety of ways in time, and then work on entering and exiting them in the context of a beat, a metronome, a tempo, you're gonna get a lot better, a lot quicker. I hope this helps. Subscribe to this channel, like the video, share with your friends, join our Patreon, and all that good stuff. See you next time.